Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hey guys, my name is Greg Bierks, and I'm the executive director for the Boys and Girls Clubs in Napa Valley. And uh, thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm going to walk you a little bit through this facility. We're starting here with the uh, back to school block of party. It's the first time we've ever done an event like this, and we're hoping that it's going to turn into an annual one. Um, we'll be welcome kids from our community to all rock out on the last day before we go, the last weekend before we go back to school. And how great is it to make an activity that's singular to American King? I feel like a lot of our effort in the Napa Valley Boys and Girls Club is Napa focused. And so we really want to make a concerted effort and have made a concerted effort to make sure that Napa is not treated like a peninsula with regard to our organization and the work that we do. We celebrate a lot of what happens within these walls internally and have not done a great job of bringing that magic out to you. And so I'm hopeful that this event is a good first step in that direction from our agency into the American Canyon community. <clears throat> This building was completed in 2017. It's 25,000 square feet. It's a beautiful facility. And as I was telling Bill on the tour just now, it's a facility that has been built to last. It's an investment in our future. When you walk through, you can see that the floors are polished concrete because kids are hard on everything. All of the doorknobs are made out of metal, right? Because kids will lick anything and you want to make sure you're able to clean it, right? What I think about this facility more than just that is that it's going to be here for a lifetime. It's going to be here for generations of kids who all grow up in, the, in and around American Canyon and then look back toward this community to invest back into it. By the time we completed this building in 2017, because of cost overruns, we were actually $1.4 million over budget. And that was a really hard reckoning for us as an agency because not only did we want to make sure we built a facility that American Canyon deserved, but we wanted to make sure that we were able to make an investment in our kids' future. Despite that, we bore that burden, we continued to fundraise, we continued to do whatever we could to bring that cost down and provide as cheap and as low cost services to kids as we could every single day after school. And so when Bill called me, I'm walking through downtown Napa after a lunch meeting, and I get a call from Bill Gott. He's like, Greg, that Napa Club, or that American Canyon Clubhouse, we're gonna take care of that for you. And after I got off the phone, Bill, you don't know this part, after I got off the phone with him, I am screaming, yelling, whooping, and everyone is looking at me like I'm a crazy person. <laughs> Some lady walks up to me, and she's like, okay, what just happened? And I told her, we just paid off the American Canyon Clubhouse. I'm in downtown Napa, She's a single mother with three kids who go here. I had no idea who she was. And she's in tears and I'm in tears right there in downtown Napa with these big jubilescent smiles in our hearts and on our faces. That's not a thing that's possible without a person like Bobot. And it's not a thing that's possible without people and a community like the community here in America. And I'm just so thankful that that happened. So with that said, I want to invite Bill to come join me up here. Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much, Greg. They should have put the speakers out here and everybody else in the shade because they're at our mercy, all out there sweating and everything. No, seriously, this is, uh, I really appreciate the, the Boys and Girls Club uh, for having this event here and getting the whole community uh, out. Uh, we know that we've got a great management team at the Boys and Girls Club, I mean, over here. And and, uh, and we've also got, have a great board of directors that work their tails off. I can remember back in the day where we were working so hard to get the Napa Clubhouse done. But I think Greg is right in so many ways in terms of the activities of the Boys and Girls Club. They're equally important, and I think you can maybe even say more, more important uh, down here you know, the, the amount of money that's raised up Valley and in, in, in Calistoga and St. Helena is insane in my view. And so when I had this unique opportunity uh, after COVID uh, to be able to get member requests because of our president pro tem, Tony Atkins, and uh, you know, we were able to give throughout my district 
but this was one of the things that I really wanted to do to give back to the Boys and Girls Club, particularly in American Canyon, where it's needed so much. And as I just took this tour around here, I was totally amazed about uh, the, the other partnerships that you have with kinder programs and uh, after school programs. And this is the type of thing that we need you know, everywhere, but right here in American Canyon, it is being filled by uh, the Boys and Girls Club. And Greg, you and your team are doing an outstanding job. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here uh, to kick this off. And I see so many of my colleagues, uh, Tracy from Cecilia uh, Edgar Curry's office. I saw Myra from Mike Thompson's office. We have our city council, our sheriff. Uh, this is this is what it's about, folks. This is our community coming together. We got Barry from the Parks and Open Space. You always forget that, right, Barry? But anyway, um, it, it is a community. People show up here in American Canyon. I'm just so pleased to be part of the program. So with that, do we have something to do here? Yes, we do. All right. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Let's take a and also, my wife Mary is here. Raise your hand. Mary. Should have done that first. So the joke was that we were going to burn the mortgage, and we're in Napa. We're not burning anything outside. It's insane. It's a stupid idea. Um, but we do have this wonderful. $1.1 million check. And Bill, would you man, man, help me with this? Uh, I have members of my board here today. Johnny Carpuck and John Cordero. Would you mind joining me up here? Um, so joining us up on the stage is our current board vice president, Johnny Carpuck, and then one of our former past presidents, uh, John Cordero, both that serve on the board of the Boys and Girls Club and have done for a long time. They don't use cardboard here in America. Steel, strength. 